Hi there. This is going to be a re well, quick review of the Tatanka Stainless Steel Camp Cook Set Regular. Now, I've been looking at this for a long time. Will I, won't I, will I, won't I? And I eventually did this Christmas. Now, for the past couple of years, I've been looking at this, which does seem like a long while, and why didn't I buy it earlier? Um, the reason I've not bought it is there wasn't a really decent review or not even a review, uh, just look at what this actually is. The pictures don't particularly do it justice. So what I'm trying to do is put out the information I wish I'd had before I'd bought this. And hopefully it'll help someone decide, yeah, I want that, or actually, no, it's not for me. So without further ado, this is the Tatanka Stainless Steel Cut Set Regular. Now, the reason I say regular there is there's two sizes. There's the regular, which this one, and large, which is larger. Um, if you're cooking for more than one person, go large, without a shadow of a doubt. Don't even think about buying the regular. It will not do you. But if it's for one person, I think this is an absolute brilliant little piece of kit. So I'm just going to open here. Doing everything one handed because I'm videoing this on a smartphone. Uh, so please forgive any faux pas there. Now, comes out of the box. A handy little case like this, which will keep any soot and blackness off the pack which can also be used for storing other bits and pieces in as you will and this is it and you got the tatanka there so first bit to open it you got this in here and right handed filming this right handed to get you the steadiest view possible but then opening it left handed so you pull that Here's your bowl, also your lid. Put that to there. Inside, we have our pot. We have pot, frying pan, and bowl. Now, this pot is 500 mils. Lid comes off. It's got the bay alarm, which locks. That's a bit better there. If you look on the inside, 250, 500 mils. So you're looking at a 500 mil pot here, which is for one person, bop, bop on. Frying pan here, stainless steel, all that. So it's, you get the reliability of stainless. It's a decent size there. You could easily fit another 500 mil in there and then you have your bowl which serves as which serves as your lid now big part of the reason I bought this was this bowl goes in there lid goes on there you got yourself a little oven Cook some rice in there, if you fried off a bit of meat in there, put it in, get yourself a chicken biryani with no problem. Build quality, very happy with. It's all fits very snugly. There is some rattle, but that can be solved with uh, just packing some cloth bits around it, like a little dishcloth to wash with. Now, another thing is giving some realistic sizes. So, handy tape measure here. We'll get some sizes. So depth of frying pan is, I call that two inches there. Width is seven inches. So that gives you an idea of how big that is. Handle, again, I'd say that's seven inches as well. The bowl looks to be seven inches again, and I'd say that's an inch and a half deep. Your pot, well, it's a 500ml pot, it's 
six inches wide, well, no, not six, five and a bit inches wide by two and a half inches deep. Um, the one downside I've got is that's rubber. My concern is if I put it in there, that could melt. However, I should take the rubber off and it's problem solved there, really. Um, as you can see, it's already had a bit of testing out. With a gel uh, fuel tablet, one of the fire dragon tablets, this boiled 500 ml of water inside of five minutes on one of my um, folding stoves, which I thought was quite good. Um, it was proper rolling boil. So heat conduction to this is brilliant. Um, sometime in the future, I will be doing an outside video where I cook something. However, this was just a quick get it out there that this is what this is and I hope it helps someone say, as I said, yep, yeah, this is for me or nah, don't think I need that one. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in comments. I shall do my best to answer. Cheers.